Hey everybody and happy Tuesday. This is for Math 1 for April 21st and today we're going to look some more at solving absolute value and equ equations. Um, this is part one of what we're going to be doing with this. It's built off of what we did yesterday so I want to quickly just go over what we learned yesterday just so make sure we're ready to go, okay? Um, so just some reminders first of all. So if I have something like this that says absolute value of x equals 3, they're asking me, they're telling me that the distance from 0 is 3. So then I have to look and see what numbers those could be. So from 0, I'm going to go to 3, right? 3 to the right, 1, 2, 3. So that's one possible answer. Or 1, 2, 3, that's one possible answer. Okay, so then that's why for this one, my solutions are x equals 3 or x equals negative 3, right? We did that yesterday. And then a reminder, if it says absolute value um, is equal to negative 3, that means that the distance from 0 is negative 3 which we talked about, you can't have a negative distance that doesn't make any sense. So we said that there's no solution if it's equal to a negative because the distance can't be negative. And then um, if they tell you that the absolute value of something is equal to zero, they're telling you the distance from zero is zero. So if you look back at our number line, so I'm starting at zero and I'm going zero. Obviously, I'm still going to end at zero. So my, I only have one solution. It's still zero. Okay, so just some quick reminders really quick um, before we get started. Other than that, it should be pretty basic. Okay, so let's look at our example for today. I'm just going to do one example here. So you'll notice it says absolute value of x plus one equals three. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to ignore this part. That doesn't matter yet. I just want to think back to what we did yesterday. So it says the absolute value is 3. That means that the distance from 0 is 3, which we know could possibly be a positive 3 or a negative 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this up into two different equations, one that's equal to the positive 3 and one that's equal to the negative 3. Okay, so I'm gonna draw an arrow and I'm gonna split these into two different equations, okay? So the first one, I'm gonna write it exactly like this, but I'm gonna drop the absolute value. So I'm gonna say x plus one could equal a positive three or x plus one could equal a negative three, either way, okay? And then I'm just gonna solve like usual, okay? So over here, I'll draw my line down my equal sign. I need to get x by itself. So I ask what's on the same side as the x, and it's a one. It's being added, so the opposite of adding one is subtracting one. Subtract one to both sides. Plus one minus one is zero. Bring down the x. Three minus one is two. Same over here. Draw my line down my equal sign. It's adding one, so the opposite of adding one is subtracting one. 1 minus 1 is 0, bring down the x. Negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. So my two solutions are x could be either positive 2 or x could be negative 4. Those are my final solutions. And that's it. Okay. If you have any questions, as always, let me know. Contact me through Google Classroom, Remind, email, whatever you need. I'm still here to help. Have a great day, guys.